So I saw this video of someone trying to make Minecraft in 10 minutes using GameMaker Studio 2. This is the result. I'll leave a link in the video description. So I decided to try it. And it wasn't very great. <laughs> Had a few issues. And I tried again. And yeah, errors. So, here's 30 minutes. I'm hosting a 24-hour Minecraft game jam very soon, uh, so make sure you check that out. That'll also be linked in the video description. Yo-Yo Games actually contacted me, and they want to offer their ultimate license to their favorite game made with GameMaker. The ultimate license is worth $1,500, so you definitely don't want to miss this. This is going to be pretty cool. Anyway, so the first thing I'm doing is setting up a vertex format and building a basic cube model. This is a pretty slow process, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. There probably are better ways to do this, but you know, this is the way that I knew how to do it and it's fast enough. Right here I'm setting up a basic camera, just setting the X and Y direction so you can turn from side to side. And we're ready to test it, only to realize that I forgot to end the model. There we go, now we have a very broken cube. I did something wrong. It's very easy to mess something up when you're placing the vertices by hand. So I just had to look over it a little bit and I spotted the problems. Now time for our first shader. We're using a weird vertex format that doesn't have verte vertex color or uh, texture coordinates. And so I'm just setting the color to the normals for now. Uh, later I'll find a way of creating my own texture coordinates. Here I'm creating a 3D array of cubes. This is a very slow way of doing it, but uh, I don't have a lot of time so it works. And I didn't move any of the cubes so that's a bit of a problem. There we go, now they have different positions. See how there's a black border at the top and left side? That's because I'm not resetting the world matrix, so I had to fix that. And now we're ready to try with textures. I'm just making a quick little dirt texture or something. This part is a little bit interesting if you're into shader stuff. I use the X and Y coordinates to uh, generate the texture. And then depending on what normal you're on, you can actually use the Y and Z or the X and Z coordinates. I didn't want to bother adding texture coordinates to the model because that's a lot harder than just generating them in the shader. Now I'm setting up a proper first person camera. I've done this kind of first person uh, movement system so many times, I, I practically know it by heart now. And now we have a bunch of randomly generated cubes. Not a very interesting map, but you know, it's a start. I experimented with different map generation techniques for probably way too long. Um, none of these ended up being very good.
Here is where it started getting interesting. I just layered a couple sine waves at different octaves, and it looked good enough, so it's kind of a fake Perlin noise or something. Honestly, I didn't expect to make it this far, so I'm just doing some fine tuning. And I'm gonna call that good. I'm quite happy with how much I was able to pack in here. I have textures, I have lighting, I have a simple generation system, and it's voxels. There's no phase culling, so it's completely solid on the inside, but you know, let's we'll just ignore that. Good enough for 30 minutes, I'm happy, I'm going to call that a day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the 24 hour Minecraft game jam. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with.